Hello everybody, I'm Thor Newsome, host of the Alpha Team channel. Today I'm starting a series on comparing tanks. So before we start comparing tanks, I just want you to know that I will be using Lego tanks, toy tanks, and later I'll be using model tanks, but till I learn how to edit pictures in, we're going to be using those. So today our tanks are going to be World War II German super heavy tanks. We are going to be comparing the my the mouse which is on this side, and then the E100, which is on this side. So, let's start with the mouse. So, back in World War II, the Germans built um, a, a tank that, um, there was two of them that they built. One of them had um, a cannon, and the other didn't have a cannon, because the British kept bombing them, and bombing them while they were trying to build them, so they only were able to build two. But they had enough metal at first to build 146. So, now the pros of this tank are that it has good armor, um, very good cannon, and that's pretty much all the pros for this tank. Now, let's move on to the next tank, the E100. Um, same principle with this tank. They were, they were building it along with the mouse. They were only able to build two, so... But they actually had cannons for this one. Now, the pros about this thing is good armor, better speed than the mouse, better cannon, better reload, um, and there's really not a lot of hit places for it. Um, so now, let's go back to the mouse and start doing the cons. The cons are bad reload, um, very good hit hit places, like, um, the real tank, there would have been this area right here, the undercarriage, you could hit that, the tracks would have been pretty big, you would have been able to hit those from the front or the back, um, and the best hit places for it would be the sides and the back of the turret. Um, now let's move on to the cons about the E100. The E100 actually doesn't really have that many cons. The cons are, it has... Um, you can hit it from the back of the turret, sometimes the sides of the turret. The tracks are a little bit more covered, um, but its armor is actually, it has a, a cup, the places where you can hit on the mouse are actually covered a lot by the E100. So, technically, in my point of view, the E100 is better than the mouse, just because of its cannon and better speed and maneuverability and size. So now, what we are going to be doing is the, is right now, well, sorry, you, if you are still watching the video, are probably going to go down to the comment section right now, because this is part of the video and the series, and you are going to tell me which tank you think is better in your point of view, and then at the end of the video, I will be telling you which tank is better from all the facts. So right now, I hope you are going to the comment section, and I will be back in at least 10 seconds. Make America great again. Okay, so now the tanks here. Now, are you ready for this? You're going to be impressed on which tank is better. Now, the tank that is better, out of all those pros and cons that I've given you, you may be thinking the mouse or the E100, whatever one you think. Just know that this tank, the E100, is better than the mouse. Thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned for my next video where the tanks will be that where the tanks that we will be comparing are the American artillery tank M53, M55, and the British tank destroyer FV. 215B183. Thank you for watching my video.